Okay, I'm working on my Land Rover TD5, which um, you'll see that this is the one of the back brakes. Uh, this is the, the long one that runs from the um, Mercer cylinder and the one-way valve. You can see how rusty it is, so I decided to change them all. Now, you'll notice I've cut the ends off. Uh, that is at the ends from both ends. This is from the one-way valve and this one is from the uh, joint where it comes onto the flexible hose at the rear axle. Now I'll come back to this one in a minute but what I'm, concerns me, I'm, I started on the back axle and you'll see on the, uh, in the back there, there's the, the uh, caliper and you've got this brake union or bond nut at the back there. Now don't Whatever you do, don't try, if, because you're going to change them all, don't bother trying to save anything, but all put new on. And if you cut, as I did there, you'll be able to use a single hex, uh, um, you, you, there's a single hex 11mm or 716, they're both the same size, to, to take it off. Now they are notoriously soft, uh, as you'll see these, these are some, I'll see how damaged they are from previous people trying to take them off whatever you do it's easier to cut them off whatever you do don't use a single hex spanner uh, example there a single hex will definitely take those corners off and you won't ever put them on when these are from on from original and they, they, they are steel so you have to use a lot more uh, torque to tighten them up which they did in the factory on this and uh, they are very hard to get off, so don't try and use uh, a cheap spanner. This is a snap-on spanner, and I know it gets them off. And the, these are the bun nuts. I know these are too long, but make sure that you use the new bun, new bun nuts. And these are 10 mil with 10 mil. There's a close up. They're 10 mil with a 1 mil pitch on the thread. Uh, these that one is. UNF, it's got the same, uh, it's got the same end on it, and but the thread is slightly different. You can see uh, that one is bigger, and you can get that to fit, but it won't do the job. It will strip the thread and could cause a brake failure. So whatever you do, make use the the right bun nut. Now I've cut off the the rear brakes pipes. These uh, I take them off, and I can use them to form the new shape to go on. This one is the long one that goes from this side, the near side in the UK, uh, from here. The bun up there I've slackened off so that can come out. That's been, uh, as I say, 11 mil or 716. That can come out. And one thing that you must do, save the ends because if you, if you make them up yourself or have them made up, you must have the right flare on the end of there. There's two kinds of flare, there's a single flare and a double flare. This is a single flare with a domed end, end to it. Make sure you save the ends and keep them with, if you're having them made up, uh, keep the ends and tape them to the ends so that the manufacturer of the new section can uh, make them up. These are the, the two ends there and they're both got this domed end and when I took the this is the short this is the short one from the other side which goes to the three-way brass three-way splitter and onto the uh, the rubber hose the flexible hose over the back axle now I've taken off this this one at the end here I, I couldn't get off this is the one uh, one difficult one, I just can't get it off, but to, to get access I've taken this completely off. You'll find that there's a long M10 bolt there with a uh, shoulder on it which holds that onto the bracket on the back axle. So I've taken that off now and I'm going to loose it off. The, the uh, brake union nut on this end came off using the, uh, the single hex uh, spanner that snapped it off nicely but extremely tight very very difficult to break the joint all right to, to get this awkward one off what I've done you can see where I've just filed this is 
originally these are 11 mil or uh, 716 the Imperial but this is an M10 socket which I'm going to just drive onto that and then hopefully I can get that off because the the steel nut has rusted and it's gone undersized so I just went round each of the faces lightly with a, a file and that should help me knock that on and get it off. That's the M10 driven on and uh, I've driven it on on a block of wood so it doesn't damage any threads but I also put a bun nut in a new one so I didn't damage anything at all so that should be able to crack that now. In place I've just put to hold it in place I've just put the uh, some clamps onto a bracket on the oil filter and that's cracked it and that is coming out nicely now so that's all ready I'll now put the the bracket back on the three-way or yeah three-way bracket back onto the back axle and I, when I make the pipes up they'll go straight on and I can tighten it up